welcome to the tcg basic 10 class today we will be discussing about the junctional escape rhythm okay so before going to the topic proper we should know something about the conductive system of the heart okay so everyone know that many part of the heart is able to produce their own electricity or their own impulses and they are called pacemaker cells so we can see these pacemaker cells in many part of the heart and the most important one and the primary pacemaker is the sinoatrial node that is the most important one then we have pacemakers in the av node that is the atrioventricular node okay you can see pacemakers also in the atrium as well as in the ventricles okay <coughs> so that at all these places we can see the pacemakers and they produce impulses at the different rate okay as we go from above to the bottom the rate of the impulses produce decreases okay for example the sa node produces impulses at a rate of usually at a rate of 60 to 100 the how many 60 to 100 beats per minute okay then it comes to the atria so the atria produce impulses which is less than 60 per minute then comes the uh, av node the av node produces impulses at a rate of 40 to 60 okay 40 to 60 per minute while there is a ventricle which produces impulses a pacemaker in the ventricle produces impulses at a rate of 20 to 40 beats per minute okay so as we go down from the uh, SA node to atria to uh, AV node to the ventricle pacemakers, the rate of impulses produced decreases. Okay, I hope it is clear. Okay, so that if the SA node, <coughs> so that if the SA node is functioning normally, so it is producing an impulse which is much higher when compared to the other pacemakers, so that it will hide or it will mask the impulses produced by the uh, other uh, system it will mask the impulses produced by the other pacemakers clear okay so that if uh, there is any diseases of the this sa node or if there is any disease which prevent the conduction of the impulses produced from the sa node to the av node what will happen the other pacemakers will uh, take over the responsibility of the SA node because the SA node is producing an impulse which is less than the rate produced by the other pacemakers or it is not at all producing a rhythm so that what happens the other pacemakers will dominate okay so that in junctional escape rhythm what is happening is that junction represents this AV node this AV node is the part of the heart which produces the uh, impulses in case of a junctional escape rhythm so, okay so that what will be the rate the rate will be 40 to 60 per minute that is the rate will be the rate that is usually produced by that of the av node okay also we know that since if, if the impulses are produced from our sa node what will happen so the normal p so the impulses has to travel from the sa node to the AV node then to the ventricle okay but here since the impulses are produced from the AV, AV node the impulses will reach the ventricle faster so as a result what will happen as a result the PR interval will be shortened so that is the basic things about the junctional escape rhythm okay so the first thing is that in a junctional escape rhythm the heart rate will be usually usually it will be 40 to 60 per minute and as we have already told the PR interval will be less than 120 per minute also we know that the the impulses are not produced from the SA node okay so what will be the result so either there will be either an absent p wave or an inverted p wave or an abnormal p wave a combination of these three represents a junctional escape rhythm i hope it is very clear okay so we will go to the other slides 
okay so this is this we have already discussed what is the rate produced by various uh, conductive system so these are the three criteria that we have already mentioned okay so what will be the causes so we have told that anything preventing the conduction from the SA node to the AV node so it can be a high degree AV nodal block or it can be due to a complete hard block or can be due to the drugs like beta blockers or calcium channel blockers or the electrolyte abnormalities like hyperkalemia or also can cause a junctional escape rhythm okay so we can you can use the mnemonic dash to easily remember the cause of the junctional escape rhythm i so this is an example for an ecg you can see that so in this ecg there is no pivo so that meets the first criteria there is absent pivo so the another criteria is the what is the heart rate you can calculate it is one large box two three four five six okay so nearly the heart rate lies between 40 to 60 per minute and another thing is what is the pr interval there is almost we can say there is uh, the pr interval there is no p wave so we won't be able to calculate so we can consider a pr interval of less than 120 millisecond so these are and uh, the qrs is less than 120 millisecond so these are the basic criteria uh, and this ecg represents a junctional escape rhythm clear okay i th i hope it's very clear for you thank you for your patient listening Please subscribe and share to your friends.